What up, everybody? Power Season 3, Kanan and Tariq was walking around Southside Jamaica, Queens when Kanan told Tariq. I started out hustling these streets after school when I was 11. We started out selling Fat Alberts to my uncles. Then Kanan went on to tell Tariq that Fat Alberts were quarter grams of Coke wrapped in aluminum foil that went for $25 a pop. Now, we know from two seasons of Raising Kanan that this story was a lie. But was it a complete lie or a half lie? Honestly, we should have known he was lying just from the fact that Kanan said quarter grams of Coke was going for $25 in the late 80s or early 90s. Most likely a quarter gram was worth about $5 back in those days. Because when I was in the game at a much later time, I wouldn't even sell a quarter gram because it wasn't worth nothing but about $10. Second, we know Kanan wasn't selling no kinds of drugs after school when he was only 11, and especially to his uncles. Kanan made his first sell to a college student after getting a quarter ounce of Coke from Marvin when Kanan was about 16 years old. Then he teamed up with Marvin to sell crack out of gas stations. Then finally he stole some red caps from Rock's operation to sell on the corner to pay for Famous's rent. At the same time, we also know that Kanan grows up lying to everyone. Many assume that both Ghost and Tommy knew Rock and also knew that she was Kanan's mother. But keep in mind when Tommy told Kanan about Teresi, Kanan told Tommy that he never had a dad. If it is ever exposed in the streets that Rock is a snitch, he's not going to be telling anybody who his mom is either. So because of this, I think Kanan will begin lying about his family to everyone, except about who his uncles are, Marvin and Lou. Getting me to the question, was Kanan's statement about serving his uncles a lie or a half lie? And I think it was a half lie meaning he does end up serving his uncles at some point. It just wasn't when he was 11. Telling Tariq he started out in the game at 11 might have also just been a manipulation tactic Kanan was using with Tariq to get Tariq thinking he was missing out on something because Kanan was already deep in the game by the time he was the same age. We already know that when Kanan was young, Marvin was using his own product. This is how he was able to get set up because he was serving out of his own crib and was so high when the cops came, he asked them if they wanted to buy a quarter. But since being released, Marvin has stayed on point, at least regarding not going back to using, because we know he still messed up a whole bunch of stuff along the line. But after meeting his anger management counselor, Renee, Marvin has started to change. Working on his temper, trying to become a better person, and rebuilding his relationship with his daughter, Jukebox. But the problem came at the end of Season 2, Episode 10, when Marvin was shot. Now, I do think Marvin will survive this, but at the same time, it could cause him to relapse. Because when he gets to the hospital, they might give him morphine or something for the pain, then write him a prescription when he is sent home. The thing is, for a former addict, this might be all it takes for him to go back to using drugs. And if cocaine was his preferred drug, he will eventually go back to that. Then most likely, Rock would find out and put Marvin out the family business for good. Then Kanan would start serving Marvin. And if Jukebox finds out that Kanan is serving her pops, that might cause a fallout between Kanan and Juke. If Juke and Marvin start getting back close, and keep in mind that it has been said that Jukebox gave Kanan the scar on his neck. Either though I feel like it's going to be Rock who gave him that scar. Get me to the downfall of Lulu. Season 2, Lou started having a change of heart. And was feeling like he wanted out the game. And didn't want all that violence and killing in his life anymore. And preferred to just stick with the music. Unique even called Lulu out at one point. And said he just didn't have the heart for it anymore. His head's out the game. And said he could smell it on him. But Rock used this to get into Lou's head later that episode about Crown. Which caused Lou to kill Crown. But if you noticed, after killing Crown, Lou started smoking cigarettes. 
I know that is very subtle, but something to also take into consideration. Then, after making Cartier 25% partner bulletproof records to pay off Crown's debt to the Jamaicans, Lou and Rock killed Cartier. Only for Lou to get a huge deposit for bulletproof records. And when he went to the bank to see about it, he found out that Rock was now 50% owner. The very thing he wanted to avoid at all costs. Then to make matters worse, when Lou went to confront Rock, she told him, I own you. This caused Lou to have an emotional breakdown in that living room. He feels lost and betrayed by his own family. To the point he was at Bulletproof Studio, ready to leave town, when the Italian Mafia hitters came gunning for him and killing Ziza in the process. So after just having an emotional breakdown, his girl is killed and she was pretty much an innocent civilian, either though she was technically an accessory in Crown's debt. But that's just going to cause all the more pain for Lulu. But the thing about Ziza to keep in mind is she just released her first single under Bulletproof Records and Lou forced DJ Mo to spin that record all day long. Now that Ziza is dead, I think that song is going to blow up. So Bulletproof Records will begin to have success, but at the same time, I think that Lou's emotional status is going to cause him to turn to drugs also. Rock will probably let Lou out the game at the beginning of season one when she tells everyone that she's going to change. So concerning Lou, I think he's going to make it out the game. His record label is going to be successful. But at the same time, he will become addicted to cocaine and his life will begin to spiral out of control. Most likely after some time goes by, he ends up going to prison for one of the murders he committed or gets all coked up and does some more reckless stuff like when he killed Crown, but gets caught this time. And there you have it, the tragic downfall of Marvin and Lulu. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.